then another thing was I was like 16 years old and I remember my I had a guitar I had a guitar for many years that once was a gift from my parents I don't know for Christmas but I never played it I didn't know how to play it and I tried to plucking one string another string another string and the sound would be shitty so I don't know I did. It stayed in, in the wardrobe for many years. And then I remember my friend, my neighbor, my best friend at the time came, bringing his guitar, and he s said, "Look at me." <laughs> and he played the bass part of Red Hot Chili Peppers, the other side. It was like. Tan 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 Yes, but he played it so much slower and like tan 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 But I saw him and I was impressed. It sounded nice, it sounded like you know like from his playing I could already see which song he was playing and I said show me teach me I took out my guitar and he taught me where to put my my fingers and and in two or three days I was playing the song better than he did <coughs> this bass part then another song I don't know, I don't even remember how I started. I started playing. Somebody taught me, I learned, the second one was Marilyn Manson's We Dreams. And I got excited. I started, somebody showed me the chorus. I had a book, I don't know, and I learned, started learning chords. Somebody would just show me and I would be practicing, practicing by myself. And I got excited, I got interested, I started playing and playing. And I remember there was one guy, a friend of my friend, and he was known in the, in the, my district, my part of city where I was living because he played guitar well and he was composing songs and everybody knew him he had good reputation for his songs and things and uh, I started daydreaming to make friends with him and to learn from him to play and to play with him and it came true because he was a friend of my friend <coughs> so I asked him to introduce us and uh, <laughs> and when seeing him I started daydreaming that I would want to play with him that I would like to form a band and play with him but he laughed and he said he said I give you one month I don't know, two months and, and this time you have to learn to play as I play then we can play together in one month and two months to learn to play like that fuck but I started playing, I started playing four hours a day, five hours a day, six hours a day. Guitar became my life, my everything. I started dreaming about getting an electrical guitar. I would be dreaming in the night, having a dream of but I am playing electrical. I have acoustic guitar, a shitty one, very shitty one. And I was dream daydreaming about having an electrical one. And I remember in the morning I would wake up and I would understand that this that, that I was dreaming about it, but I, I, I was playing the electrical one. But it was just a dream and and it was such a beautiful dream and I wake up and I'm without a guitar be such a sad realization, it would be very sad. But the things I would want in my life I would always attain in some way or another. I would 
put my mind onto that. And somehow life would give me. Somehow life would give me what I wanted. Even though we were a poor family and my parents wouldn't wouldn't be able to give me what, what I wanted. But somehow I think I worked or something like that and I bought like this guitar, electrical one cheap. And I was playing and playing and playing and playing every day, like five hours, six hours. I remember I, I stopped going to school. <laughs> I started missing the lessons. My parents didn't know anything about that. Sometimes in the morning I would hide myself under the bed until everybody goes to school, my parents go to job, and I, you know, in my room I would start playing and playing and playing all day long without going to school. And I would be pretending that I go to school, but I wouldn't. I would be playing all of the time six hours, eight hours, I was playing and singing. I got so much excited about this. And I would be so sick of sounds of music. When you play eight hours every day, you can't bear sound anymore. Somebody would speak in and, and it would bring me to nausea just to hear, or to hear sounds, you know? I would be playing and it would drive me to almost nausea. It would make me sick, the very sound when I'm playing because 10 hours playing every day. <coughs> okay, six, eight hours was, you know, the, the approximately, if, if, you know, sometimes it was six, sometimes it was 12, at the most it was 14 hours. I would write it down in my small book how many hours I did today and I would sum it up and I would see how many I did in one week and I would draw the conclusion that if one week it was approximately six, another week it would be approximately seven, eight or five. <coughs> Sometimes I would be playing so much that it would be <coughs> I would get so sick of the sound that I would put this cotton pads in my ears. I couldn't hear anything but I would pick up my guitar and start practicing techniques, you know, at least, how you call it, threads, I don't remember, like combinations and things. And I learned to play very fast and really well, that my friend, he was astonished. My, and, uh, <laughs> we started playing with him, we started playing with him. I started to play on the stage sometimes, in the school, there was one event in the city, here and there, sometimes alone, sometimes with my friend. I was really interested in music. It was my life, all the time. So much inspiration I had. One or two years I was playing a lot. In the end I even had some invitation. One girl, somebody invited me to go to... Okay, I, I was playing in, in, in my city, I was playing with some people, with other people. Playing in some bands. I had some invitations to go to... Um, Finland or to UK to play there in metal bands. But then uh, I think the things changed when I had 18 years old. When I entered this movement, this spiritual sect, this master. That's a very long story, it's a long story that I don't, I'm not about to get into that now. But in, in short, this is how I stopped playing because I entered this movement, I left my parents, I started living with my master. There were many things, many sad things. Master would tell me to do things and I was so brainwashed that I would do everything, you know. Oh, 
luck, the thing is... Very long stories and very painful ones. I don't know if I want to get into them, but... It was a order of my master to go to my friend with whom I was playing that I told you about in the band. The one that was popular for playing music. He was really good. It was order to go to his house and he owed me some money. The order was to take, to take this debt by force. And if no, to beat him. This was my order and I was so brainwashed that I was doing everything. I went to him with this baseball bat. <laughs> I didn't know yet much, I didn't know much about fighting yet. So I would be using the baseball bat. And uh, he didn't have the money. I took some I took some things from his cow, some accessory of computer and things. Telling him that when he gives me money back, I will give him his this, these things back. So our friendship ended. This is how it ended.